This is a site-specific sound installation that removes the viewer from the gallery space, but at the same time makes them more aware of that space. It makes you focus on the sounds that you wouldn't usually hear, so all sorts of sounds that you don't realise are going on in the studio space, you pick up on when you're inside this space. The story of an artist who, who, who sacrifices his integrity for the sake of a good lunch, basically. Uh, and, and, you know, perhaps one should say, who can blame him? Um, except that he then blames himself and, and you know, effectively uh, can't deal with his own self-destruction. I understand the importance of integrity as an artist, but it's something I try not to think about too much while I'm making my own work, because I find that way I keep my integrity if, I'm, if it's something I'm not constantly focusing on. I think every artist has their own unique voice and opinion that they're wishing to express and that's the whole point of your artwork. So if you change that, it wouldn't be your art. I think the fallout rate's fairly high. I think many people don't succeed and obviously you have to earn a living and it's very difficult to earn a living as, as a practitioner. There can be a huge amount of disillusionment um, very quickly after finishing art school. Early on in, in my career, I'd, I'd be fine with compromising my integrity. I'd, I'd do that and then hopefully later on in my career I could gain my integrity back. Or <laughs> yeah, using the fame or wealth in a good way. I think perhaps you would lose the passion for the artwork and it would become more like a job. And it wouldn't be art anymore, it would just be a job. There is a tremendous temptation to opt for easy success. And in one sense, there's nothing wrong with that. For many of my contemporaries, especially when I was in London, many people were really ambitious and were desperate to be famous. And many of them are still working, you know, waiting tables. And I think it's because they expect it to be discovered rather than being noticed by being involved. Yeah, I'd be scared about my reputation, but I think it just has to be about money, really, so you can make the work you want to make, because yeah, you need the funds to keep making work, and that's the most important thing. The question really is, how do you want to be judged? What do you want your legacy to be? Is it a lot of effective, commercial, successful, um, short-lasting work that gives you status and a good lunch? Or is it something that you believe perhaps in a deeper sense, uh, is something of more profound importance. And those are choices that every human being has to make, I think.